Mike, thank you. And all public schools in New Hampshire have been ordered to shut down because of coronavirus. And we know parents have a lot of questions about the remote learning that will be starting. So we've asked the commissioner of the New Hampshire Department of Education, Frank Edelblue, to join us here on News 9 at 530 to help answer questions sent in by WMUR viewers today on our Facebook page. Thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate you coming and really to help clear up a lot of questions that parents have. I am happy to be here and uh, happy to answer questions for folks. Absolutely. And as we were about to begin, you said that you have some new information that you would like to share with us. Well, I've just thought, you know, in the midst of the conversation, there's a lot of concern and worry. And I thought I'd share some good news for folks out there. Um, just as I was actually getting ready to come down here, I received these two things in my inbox and I thought I would share them with folks. So one, someone did a screenshot off of a Facebook post okay. and it says, it's from a parents group and it says, just wanted to throw out there, if there's a parent who needs work, school, hours and can't figure out child care for your kiddo, send me a message. I'll be home all day with my two kids and I'm happy to try to help if someone is in a tight situation. So it kind of ex expresses really that New Hampshire spirit of helping others out in the community. Um, and then another good one, if I might share one more sure. piece of good news with folks. Um, so this is a text message that I received from one of our superintendents. Hi. Thanks for all of your hard work and that of the DOE. I thought I would share with you that Epping was 100% prepared for remote learning, which started today. We are ready to go, rigorous and relevant. The students and staff are getting it done. All so right. we've got a lot of folks out there who are working very hard. Um, and then sure. the last thing I want to share with you is that we actually put up online now a uh, online help service so that you can go to the Department of Education website, New Hampshire DOE. Uh, there's a link you can click on there and you can enter in a question and we will be able to respond to those questions. And we're going to build a knowledge base around the frequently asked questions that folks might have just as a resource for parents and educators. And I'm sure a lot of parents will be very happy to be able to ask questions in that online portal. We do have some questions here uh, from parents that wrote in on Facebook. Christina asks, how will special education Education services, specifically IEPs, be carried out? Yeah, so we actually have a three tiered system for our students that have IEPs. Um, really, the first level in terms of an IEP is in a remote instruction environment. And actually, we refer to this environment as remote instruction plus remote support results in remote learning. And that support part is not an afterthought. It's a very important part of a child's education. And so we need to support our students to have individual education plans. Now, sometimes the services in those plans are such that they can be delivered in a remote environment. For example, an IEP plan may call for a check-in with the student in the beginning and end of the day to make sure that things are working smoothly. Those are the kinds of services that can continue to be provided in a remote instruction environment. There are other opportunities where a student may need in-person support. And so we have made accommodations to allow that student to come to the school environment and continue to receive those individualized supports that they may need to meet the requirements of their individual education plan. And then there are other, the third tier kind of of this safety net to make sure that we're supporting all of our students is what we refer to as compensatory services. We may find ourselves in a circumstance where we simply can't in this remote instructional and support environment, really support the needs of the student completely. So we would set up compensatory services for that student. So some students will be able to actually go to school for IEPs in person. In very limited cohort numbers, we can actually accommodate some of those students to continue to provide some special services. And that might include something like OT or PT that really needs to be delivered in person. All right, New Hampshire Education Commissioner Frank Edelblue, thank you so much. We'll be right back with more of your questions from Facebook.